and welcome to the course introduction for the Siebel CRM new features for developers training by the Siebel Hub learning experience. My name is Alexander Hansal and I'm happy to introduce you to this training. So the goal of the Siebel CRM new features for developers course is to provide a comprehensive big picture for any Siebel CRM professional who wants to understand the new features and enhancements for developers that occurred from the introduction of IP17 to the most current Siebel release. So this course covers all the features and enhancements introduced between IP17 and the current release at the time you're watching this presentation. The Siebel Hub has a unique, always up-to-date learning guarantee. So visit the continuous updates page for more information. Let's briefly rehearse the continuous release model, which we use to follow the course development at the Siebel Hub. The continuous release model was introduced by Oracle to support customers getting from one release to the next or a current release much faster than with the traditional upgrade approach. So on top of the slide, you see here IP14, IP15, IP16. And even if you're on IP16, which is already a little bit dated, then you must upgrade. You must run an extensive and expensive upgrade project to get to the latest release at the time of recording Siebel 24 something. And that means a lot of effort. But if you have already upgraded to anything beyond 17.0, then you are within the continuous release model. So you can apply updates, a process which is much faster, just a few person days to get to the latest Siebel release. And Oracle updates Siebel CRM on a monthly basis and so the Siebel Hub updates the course material on a monthly basis. We have three Siebel new features courses separated by your role. So if you're an architect or administrators, look into the new features for architects administrators. If you're a developer, stay right here. And if you're an application integrator, then look into our new features for application integrators course. So in the developers training, we have a lot of things to cover. Of course, it's important to understand the modern Siebel CRM architecture. So we start with that. It's even more important to understand workspaces and web tools. And of course, the migration application, which migrates the stuff you develop from, te from development to test or production. We will also talk about in depth about list of values management or management of workspace application data. Test automation is a vital chapter here. We also introduce you to usage pattern tracking, mobile applications, and the relatively new data visualization options. So let's dive in into each topic a little bit. So the IP17 and later architecture is a contains a lot of changes that developers need to understand as well as administrators. So we have included this important chapter here. And of course, you have to understand workspaces. The workspaces are mandatory in IP17 and higher. So you get a thorough introduction to workspaces, CICD, parallel development, C data management, and all the tasks related to workspaces. The same is true for web tools. It is literally enhanced every month. So you have to keep up and you get an introduction to Siebel web tools. You learn about the layout editors, all the web tools features such as script editor, debugger, workflow editor, simulator, the wizards that have been recently introduced, how to import and export SIF archives. And yes, Siebel tools is still there. So you learn about the coexistence with Siebel tools. And once you have finished and tested your configurations, your customizations, you need to understand how they can be successfully deployed to test and finally to production environments. This is why the chapter on migration application is a centerpiece of the new features for developers training. 
Workspaces also encompass non-repository data. At the time of this recording, it's just list of values, but that might change. And so you understand how to manage application workspace data, such as list of values in development, during migration and in RR environments. Test automation is a very important chapter in each and every project. The more you automate your tests, the faster you can deploy. So Siebel test automation was greatly enhanced in IP17 with the ability to record and playback in the Siebel web client. So you'll learn all about this new feature and architecture around it and the latest updates to test automation. You will learn about usage pattern tracking, which is a valuable tool in your belt to monitor usage patterns. Well, there you have it. And Siebel mobile applications allow you to quickly deploy Siebel application data and Siebel application functionality to mobile devices. So check out this chapter if you're interested in that. And last but not least, Data visualization added, added in 22.5 is included in our always up-to-date training. You can bet on that. So modern Siebel CRM training takes place at the Siebel Hub. We have the only always up-to-date Siebel CRM curriculum with 15 world-class courses with over 100 individual modules delivered by expert instructors as video training, instructor-led training as part of your team coaching. And we have tailored learning paths for individuals and teams. So check out the Siebel Hub training page for more information. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye-bye.